Good afternoon. Uh, I'm delighted that you are here, and I want to thank the press for coming out to assist us in helping to better educate our community about the challenges we have with pedestrian safety throughout Montgomery County. I'm here with uh, Council Member Sid Katz and Hans Riemer and Lieutenant Nick Augustine from the Montgomery County Police Department. Uh, we are working together to educate our community about the challenges related to pedestrian safety. One in four pedestrian collisions in Montgomery County occurs, believe it or not, in parking lots. That's one in four, 25%. And in the past two years, one in 10 of those collisions in the parking lot, that 25% have been incapacitated injuries. So those very serious injuries of cars averaging about two tons. Some people are surprised to hear about such devastation, but it is a fact. Two common causes of pedestrian collisions are very, very clear. One is that we really have to avoid distraction, and that is to put down our phones, look around, and pay attention. For drivers, putting down your telephone is not simply an option. Uh, it is the thing to do. It is the law. In Maryland, it is against the law for drivers to read write or send a text. And it's illegal for drivers to hold a cell phone while convers having conversations. The law is there for a reason. It is because holding a cell phone while driving or texting endangers you and the people around you, and especially pedestrians. Between 2013 and 2014, the number of pedestrian collisions in parking lots dropped by 14% to 102 of them. We are here today and glad to see that reduction. However, last year, we had 119 such collisions, representing a 17% increase compared to 2014. We are here today again to emphasize the challenges associated with phones and to help people pay attention for the very serious injuries that occurs, not only in parking lots, but especially in parking lots throughout Montgomery County. For the past several years, Montgomery County has been educating drivers and pedestrians about avoiding collisions. Today, we will be educating people, about the shoppers especially, by passing out these shopping bags. Uh, very good. We hope that you use them. Uh, it helps us in two ways. It's in English and in Spanish. It helps us to remove litter uh, from our streets and our streams, but it also carries a message for us. Uh, this is an important message. The Montgomery County Department of Transportation is installing heads up, the decabs. Here's the decabs here that we have in both English and Spanish. It's a little bit hot today, so a little bit sticky. <laughs> melting. <laughs> yeah, they're melting. And so people can see these and hopefully respond to it as well. These alerts pedestrians who have their eyes and they are at their feet to lift up their heads and uh, watch out. We have mailed, or will mail, 150,000 uh, 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 150, postcards to our county households uh, to build awareness. And there's a little bit of quiz there, giving people some instructions about what to do. We're also working with our store managers and others to delay safety posters, and you can see the safety posters around here that gives us the warnings that we are looking at, and we have these as well that go in the department stores. But we're doing all of this to better educate our community, and we're doing so because it is important. Uh, we're doing so because we've had 25 percent of our collisions in parking lots, and 10 percent of that number incapacitated injuries. This is important. And I'm delighted that we are getting this message out at a time when people are out. There are more pedestrians out during the summer. We have more events out. Uh, but we are mindful that the telephone is something that we enjoy, we use, it's informational. Uh, we love the, the ability to communicate effectively. Uh, but at some point in time, you have to stop. So stop while you're driving. And also be aware, look up when you're walking in the parking lots and at all time to avoid collisions. At this point in time, I'm going to call Hans Riemer, followed by uh, Sid Katz and uh, Lieutenant Augustine. Hans? All right. 
Thank you, County Executive Leggett. I really wanted to be here today to support this initiative, and I, I thank the Public Information Office and the County Police Department, Department of Transportation for working together on this. Um, we need our residents to think about parking lots as safety zones. You know, it's sort of like when you're on the freeway and you're entering a work area, you're on high alert. You know that this is an area where safety uh, is needed and there is a different kind of danger. And that's what a parking lot is. And I don't think a lot of people necessarily realize that. The statistics that the county executive mentioned are, are really, uh, they're scary. You know, a large share of our pedestrian collisions are happening in parking lots. So we need drivers and pedestrians to recognize that special care is needed in a parking lot. I wanted to be here, especially today, because I can attest to this in a personal way that I couldn't before last summer when I broke my hip. And for the last uh, nearly a year, I've been on reduced mobility. I've been on crutches and I've been on a cane. And there are two places that I've found are really the most scary for me as a as a person uh, with you know a different kind of mobility. The first is an intersection, and the second is a parking lot. And the reason is when I start an intersection, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the other side before the light changes. And the second is when I'm in a in a parking lot, I don't know if the cars at the drivers realize that I can't get out of the way. You know, I can't jump out of the way of a car anymore because I can't jump. Well, there's a lot of people like that. You know, and you have to pay special care in a parking lot because you don't know whether the people around you are aware and the you know the distraction issue that's that's a, another critical element of it but let's just make people aware parking lots need to be safety zones and we have to pay special care so thank you thank mr you. county executive thank you thank you and thank you mr county executive for doing this and for bringing the awareness to all of us that once again uh, for the, the absolute ne necessity to remind us uh, for uh, pedestrian safety. You know, many times when someone is crossing a street, they realize that there's traffic and, and that you have to have that extra, that extra moment of caution. And today, with the, with the, because we all have cell phones and whatnot, many times we're distracted by using those cell phones, and that causes an, an additional concern. But in a parking lot, many times people do not realize or remember that because they are walking that there are people that are driving and this, and vice versa that because someone is driving they realize that someone is walking and that a a drive aisle of a parking lot is just as dangerous as any as any street we need to keep that in mind we need to really pay attention that we and we all do it but we should not do try to do two multitask uh, uh, anymore we shouldn't be on our cell phones while we're walking so that we can pay attention to those areas of the, the our own surroundings i thank you for doing this i thank you for bringing the awareness to to all of us and to keep each and every one of us safe thank you very much thank you good afternoon i'm here today to support county executive and represent chief manger in a joint partnership to reduce pedestrian collisions in parking lots. Pedestrian safety is a top priority for our department, not only on the roadways, but in our parking lots. Last year, Montgomery County, we had 473 motor vehicle collisions that involved pedestrians. And all of these collisions were preventable. As you heard from the county executive, approximately 25% of our total pedestrian related collisions occurred in parking lots. This is unacceptable. A review of crash data revealed that driver and pedestrian inattention was a primary cause of a majority of the parking lot collisions. Cell phones are a primary distraction for both pedestrians and drivers. The average reaction time for a person is just over one second. By adding the distraction of typing in a phone number, writing a text, or checking social media, there is no time for a driver or pedestrian to have a significant time to react to a danger that can not only injure themselves or others, but also end a life. Under Maryland law, it is illegal for drivers to use their hands to operate a cell phone while their motor vehicle is in motion. Distracted behavior is dangerous. Our department proudly participate in County Executive Leggett's Pedestrian Safety Initiative. This year, the Montgomery County Police Department has conducted 174 pedestrian enforcement details, which amounts to over 1,000 work hours. Overall, our enforcement 
Our efforts have resulted in approximately 856 citations being issued to both drivers and pedestrians. The Police Department's Traffic Division will begin coordinating enforcement of cell phone violations in parking lots and take this opportunity today to educate prior to enforcement. It is always our goal to obtain voluntary compliance over our officers having to issue a citation. Everyone has a role in preventing pedestrian-related collisions. Drivers need to drive defensively by looking out for pedestrians, yield to pedestrians whenever practical. Pedestrians need to use crosswalks, obey traffic signals, stay off their cell phone when they are crossing roadways or parking lots, and make eye contact with drivers before taking the step in front of a moving vehicle. Montgomery County is a Vision Zero community. It's a Vision Zero philosophy. Every crash in life matters. Drive carefully and help us to prevent any loss of life in our community. Stay off your cell phone and don't have your last text be your final legacy. Thank you. Again, let me thank the media for coming out today. Uh, this is important and we are here uh, because we are trying to send a message, a message of public safety to ensure uh, that we reduce those uh, contacts with vehicles and to make certain the drivers understand the law. Thank you all for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you.